we are going to be doing an art review. <coughs> Excuse me. But I recently got the Zebra My Liner Highlighters. Now, I usually don't do art things, but I am very into art. I love anything stationary art related. So I thought I would do just a quick little video on that. I do want to let y'all know that since back to school, it's time for me and I've been in school for about two weeks now. I should, I'll try, but just know that I won't be posting, probably won't be posting every two weeks now. Um, but I still will try to be active on the YouTube app. So I just want to let y'all know. I'm going to be filming some overhead shots. I'm not using any professional equipment. So if something does happen to go wrong, please, it's okay. But yeah, so let's just get into it. So I have already opened these my liners, but I just put them back in order for the aesthetic look. As I said, I'm using the paper background as my white background so that I can draw with my swatches. I also have this notepad handy that I that I always keep. Um, yeah, you guys didn't see the Tombow video just because it did not it did not fit what I was going for. It was a good video, but I just didn't like the way that it turned out. But yeah, like I said, I'm very into art and any such of that. So we will be scribbling on the paper and on the notepad, but the notepad will be the exact swatches. So yeah, let's just get into it. I just want to say that this video might be a little bit long because there's 15 my liner pens and I want to swatch all of them so that you can get a feel of them. And I also want to say that these are highlighters, so some of the colors might be a little bit brighter than you think from the caps. So yeah, I'm just going to write it down on my notepad. So I'm just going to show you what the my liner looks like. So it says my liner and bold and fine and Japan um, and marker marker and let's see what else and I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that I can really read um, I'm gonna guess that the rest is in Japanese just because they're from Japan they're from J Japan and packaged in Mexico um, so yeah but I don't know for sure and there's not any colors, or if there was a color, I could not read it. So yeah, I think I'm just going to wear this, um, call this cherry red, because I really do like it. But yeah, let's just swatch it. So I'm going to write bold right here, and then bullet. So let's get my pen, which we don't have, so we'll just get this pencil. And write Bold. and then oh, what I like to do is like I like to swatch it like this very very nice just a tip you might be thinking yes you can use a regular highlighter like this they work the exact same way but these are a lot lower quality than these um, I do have a Sharpie one but um, I don't know where they went. But yeah, these are a lot lower quality. Also, these just look more aesthetically pleasing. I know that's a really weird uh, term and like why you should get highlighters because they're aesthetically pleasing. But that's what I like to focus on. Does it look good? Will it fit? And does it work? These are high quality. They're aesthetically pleasing and all that. And then like you don't think that there's a second tip. But if you take the second tip off, like there's a second tip. They're dual tip. I don't know why I call them second tip. I'm gonna wait. But I just want to say I might not be able to do all of these, but we will definitely try. Got the writing cursor. See if I can. This bullet tip, I do want to say that I have swatched them all. This bullet tip is a little bit thicker than all of them, but I was that the using this one a lot more than the others just because of the first one I was swatching it over and over again. But yeah, these are very aesthetically pleasing. I love them. And I know that my liner is coming out. Well, they already have come out, but they're in Japan and where I live, they're not available yet. 
Um, but yeah, I am super ready for the brush pens because those, I love anything calligraphy and brush pen or brush, brush nib is my life. Then I'm going to call this orangutan orange. I don't know if I said that right, orangutan, I don't know. But yeah. And let me know if you guys like these art videos because I will definitely do more of them. I have so many art supplies that I don't show people just because they're art supplies and stationery. Like, why would you show that to people? Like, it's really not that big of a deal. But I still love anything stationery. If I can get my hands on it, I definitely will. Um, so I'm going to stop talking for, well, I'm going to keep talking, but not about the same thing. Um, so I'm going to tell you guys the backstory on how I got these. Then I'm really going to stop talking, put some cool music in, and just watch these in time lapse. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I got these at Target, and I really wasn't expecting. I was going in for some paper make pens. I'm going to call this Peachy Orange. I was going in for some, oh, no, sorry, later. I was going in for some uh, paper mate because I really I recently got them from my stationery for back to school and I have fallen in love with them. I mean they were just so great. But I was gonna get a 24 pack because I was like, go big or go home. Let's just go ahead and get all the colors that I want so that I don't have to come back to Target and do this all over again like every month if I want some more. Um, but the 24 pack was way too too expensive. Keep in mind this is a highlighter so. These other colors that I'm talking about that are a little bit like hi more highlighter-ish. Um, but they were way too expensive. They were like $24, I think. But they they were just way too expensive for my type. And I could possibly not afford that at all. So I put those back. But I was still set on getting some type of stationery. Like I wasn't just going to go to Target and not go out. Anything, which I know is a very bad mindset. Because it just makes you spend more money. But... Yes, I still love them. Um, so, like I said, I was set on getting something. So, um, I was just looking around Target, not really having my eye on anything, but anything that would catch my eye, I was totally going to get. And I found these babies in, like, the wrong section. And then I walked over to another section and found, like, there was only one more pack, but I had had. There was two packs, so I had one, and there was one left. And I was like, I have to get these. Like, these are so good. And I want them so bad. Um, but these, they're not that old, but they're not the newest pack at all. But I'm so waiting for that brush nib release. I'm going to call this Sunflower Yellow. Th that brush nib release, I will die over those. It's one thing that I don't like. It takes a longer time to get to where I live and when they actually come out and so you do have to wait a little bit longer just like every netflix series you have to wait even though the season already came out on the tv you have to wait to get it on netflix oops the bullet wrong but that's all right um so yeah we're gonna begin the time lapse so yeah I'm 
enjoyed that video I just want to say um the time lapse might not be very good but I tried my hardest to put some fun music in there to get y'all going um and yeah so I will see you guys in next two weeks video or whenever I decide to post again bye